It has been 16 months since police were called from John Peter Smith Hospital about a sexual assault on campus. But Fort Worth Police Sergeant Devin Pitt says the case is not being ignored. He says since the woman has left the country, following up with her has been difficult. After she left, we did hit on a suspect that we would like for her to view a photo of. It matches the composite that was uh, drawn up pretty well. Um, <clears throat> and it's right now the, that part of it is sitting in the case. Students still remember the feeling after hearing a female was grabbed while walking to the library, threatened with a knife, and sexually assaulted in a dark area. Um, I was just like really creeped out about like the whole thing and it was just like really weird and I was like really paranoid that like, I don't know, I was just going to get attacked whenever. Police released a sketch of the suspect that described him as a tall white male in his early 20s with blonde hair and a mole on his right cheek. Pitt said the suspect was also a stranger to the woman. Most sexual assault cases include an acquaintance or even a friend. Pitt said this made the case unusual. I'm not necessarily sh convinced that she was the actual target. Uh, I think it was a, the, su the suspect, it was a crime of opportunity and she just happened to be the person that was there. Other students are taking precautions. Members of Pi Beta Phi participated in self-defense classes on campus. It was the self-defense moves, but some of it was just making smart decisions, um, not, you know, going by yourself places, especially at night, um, and keeping track of your friends. And so that was like a really good reminder too. Take classes began in memory of a Pi Phi from Kansas State, Allie Kemp, who was murdered. Caroline Dixon said the class helps women on campus avoid a similar situation. And so it's especially important since we've had um, incidents like that in the past that, that the women at TCU are prepared to handle any kind of situation like that. Pitt says they are at a standstill right now until the victim responds back to the police and can identify the suspects. Until then, the sexual assault case is open and police are still receiving leads and suspects. Carrie Fetzko, TCU News Now.